Today's video is on multiplication by n from z transforms. So according to the definition, if z transform of f of n is equal to capital F of z, then z transform of n into f of n is equal to minus z into d by dz of f of z. So if f of n is multiplied by n, so we have to make a derivative with respect to z for one time and we have to multiply with minus z. See here, using this in general, z transform of n power k into f of n is nothing but minus z power k dk by dz power k into capital F of z. See here, using this multiplication by n property, so we have to solve this. That is z transform of n into a power n. So here is the solution 1. For solution 1, so we need z transform of a n into a power n. So here a power n is multiplied by n. So just I am taking a power n. So we know that according to our z transform special function. So a power n is nothing but z by this is z minus a. If it's multiplied by n. So using the formula that is n into f of n is equal to this is minus z times of d by dz of capital F of z. So if f of n is equal to a power n, see here f of n is equal to a power n and this will be capital F of z. And see here z into a into what is f of n? f of n I consider it as a power n. So n into a power n is equal to minus z into this is d by dz of f of z. So the value of z of a power n is equal to z by z by a, z minus a. So now I have to make a derivative with this. So this is uv rule. So this is, I'll write uv rule here. That is derivative of u by v is nothing but this is v square v you have to make a derivative for u and you have to leave u for one time and make a derivative for v. So if this is uv rule, so if this is u and this is v. So I have to write v square z minus a whole square and again I have to write v for one time that is z minus a and I have to make a derivative for this u and next again I have to leave u here z and again I have to make a derivative that is for z this is 1. So this will be minus z times of this is z minus a minus z by z minus a whole square. So if I cancel these two and multiply, so this is the answer that is a z by z minus a whole square. So this is nothing but z transform of n into a power n. If a power n is multiplied by n, see here clearly. If a power n is multiplied by n, according to our special functions, z of a power n is nothing but z by z minus a. So we have to treat this as capital F of z and we have to treat this as f of n. So according to our formula here, so this is a formula that is z transform of n into f of n is equal to minus z times of d by dz of f of z. So, this is z transform of n into what is f of n? a power n is equal to minus z times of d by dz of this is z by z minus a. So, this is we have to make a derivative that is uv rule. So, we have to make v square v u dash minus u v dash. So, this is v square. This is v u dash minus u into v dash. So, after solving this and final our final answer is this one so that is n into a power n is nothing but a z by a z by z minus a whole square now the second question is z transform of n square into a power n so now we have to solve for this so according to solution 2 so we need z transform of n square into a power n. So this can be written as n into n into a power n. So here it is multiplied by n. So here if I consider this as f of n. See so n into f of n is equal to the formula here is minus z into d by dz of capital F of z. I'll show you. Now, what is our f of n? So, in place of f of n, we have n into 
a power n. So, according to our uh, z transform, n into a power n is nothing but, just now I solved here, see here, n into a power n is nothing but a z by z minus a whole square. So, this is a z by z minus a, this is whole square. Now, I will substitute here and this will be capital F of z and this value will be capital F of z. Now, substituting in this, now this will be z into so this value is z into what is f of n f of n is nothing but n into a power n is equal to minus z times of d by dz of this one that is a z by z minus a this is whole square again we have to make a derivative that is also uv rule so the derivative of u v u by v is nothing but see here this is v square v this is u dash minus u into v dash so this is u by v now i'll make a derivative now if i make a derivative see what happens here so this will be minus z times of minus z times of this is v square that is z minus a square square whole square so this will be power 4 and this is z minus a whole square and for z this is 1 a remains minus you have to leave u here that is a z and again we have to make a derivative for v that is 2 times of z minus a power 1 and again for z this is 1 see here in this this will be minus z into z minus a if i take common what remains here this is a into z minus a minus 2 a z by this is z minus a power 4 now i'll cancel this for one time so 3 remains and see this will be minus z times of if i multiply this is a z minus a square minus 2 a z by this is z minus a whole cube clear and now see here these two that is like terms that is a z and this is also a z and now what i'll do here this is minus z by minus a square minus a z by this value is z minus a whole cube so if i bring a outside minus a outside this will be plus a and this is a plus z by z minus a whole cube so our answer here that is n into n a power n is nothing but this is a z by a plus z by z minus a whole cube and therefore our final answer here is see our final answer is z into n square into a power n is equal to this is a z into this can be written as z plus a by z minus a whole cube and this is how we have to solve and hope you all got a clarity on this and let me explain you once again so z transform of f of n is equal to capital f of z and if this f of n is multiplied by n so we have to make a derivative for f of z and we have to multiply with minus z see here clearly have done this one so first one is z transform of n into a power n first i am taking a power n so according to some special functions z transform of a power n is nothing but z by z minus a if it's multiplied by n so we have to make a derivative for this f of z and we have to multiply with minus z so for making a, a derivative so this is u by v rule so after applying u by v rule and multiplying with minus z and this is the answer and the next one here is n square into a power n for n square so n square can be written as n into n so here see here n square can be written as n into n so this n a power n so we have to consider f of n as see here f of n as n into a power n clearly the z transform of n into a power n is nothing but a z by z minus a whole square which is equal to capital f of z if it's multiplied with n so according to our uh, multiplication property minus z into d by dz of a z by z minus a whole square so this is 
minus z again this is u by v rule again I applied u by v rule and solved and so after multiplying and this is the final answer and this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and there is another question to be uploaded very soon and that is also very important repeatedly asked the question so please watch and please pass it on practice well and you definitely you will get a good score thank you so much